I'm Jason. I'm Scott. Welcome to Liquid Carnage this week. We're excited to be here today, and we're actually in a remote location. We're on yeah, the beach. Yeah, we, we are outside of the Liquid Carnage Studios. Outside of Liquid Carnage Studios in Burbank, California? Yeah, <laughs> Burbank, California, yeah. If, if you can hear it, we have a special guest with us today. Oh, my gosh. He, he looks like a Viking mixed with a leprechaun uh, because he's got the longest red beard in the state of Arizona. Wow. Uh, yeah. And that, that's saying a lot, That too. is saying a lot. That is the introduction to our friend, uh, Chris Bennett. Chris Bennett, welcome to the show, man. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, cue the applause. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, we, we don't have a sound I'm not sure what the, the budget is for this. Oh, yeah, no, no, not this year? Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, uh, there we go. Woo-hoo. There's your applause. All right, yeah. wonderful. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us on the podcast. First time on a podcast. Yeah, yeah. I actually know it's not, but, you know, thanks for having me here, guys. Well, it's, I appreciate uh, it. It's a pleasure. Well, uh, a couple weeks ago, France elected their new president um, to uh, to Rule much applause for everyone because yeah. he wasn't Trump. Yeah, right. That's a, absolutely that's true. And we don't get into political statements, but there was one thing interesting about this new French president is uh, that he is married to his uh, wife, who is... She used the, to be his teacher, right? Used to be his teacher. And so how, how, 26 what's the age? years age difference. 26 years is the age difference. That's so basically, she's definitely old enough to be his mother. Uh, yes. And then yeah. some. Yes. In some countries, maybe even a grandmother. Who it, knows? That, that, that's very true. But uh, it got me thinking, though, uh, age difference, because a lot of a lot of people nowadays deal with age difference in a relationship. Mm. So I thought you're be, actually in a relationship where there's an age difference. I am. And it's not the, the traditional age difference where the man is generally uh, older than the woman. That's true. That's true. Our, my age difference is is eight years, um, but it is the woman is older than the man. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and obviously, you know, when you're dealing with an age difference in a relationship, there are things that m- regular relationships where people are the same age don't have to deal with. Traditionally, the guy has always been older mm-hmm. uh, than the female. I guess it's because men die earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Or we're, maybe it's because men, men are dumber. So we do things. But mm-hmm. 500 years ago, men were the breadwinners. So they wanted a young wife to have the 15 children and have two of them survive to adulthood. That's so, true. You know, they that's, had that was that the farmer's mm-hmm. theory. So that's that brings us to why we have Chris here, because Chris is also in a relationship where he uh, has an age difference. Yes, he does. Uh, Chris, uh, welcome to the show again. Uh, you're dealing with an age difference. How big is your age difference? Uh, Vicky and I's uh, age difference is 16 years. 16, one six. Mm-hmm. So she's definitely not old enough to be your mother, but if she was had been promiscuous early in life, <laughs> she could be your mother. Or if their parents were promiscuous earlier on. Or yeah, that's, that's what you meant to say. <laughs> yeah. I screwed that up. Yeah. yeah. And um, how did you guys meet? Uh, actually, uh, we met. Uh, Tell us the love story. Oh yeah, yeah. You're involved in the story too. Oh. Oh, I am. <laughs> I am. I am matchmaker. Yeah, yeah. Actually, well, I'll Mr. tell the story then. <laughs> yeah, you go see, ahead. Yeah, because I, I it was a dark night. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In May, June, June, fourteenth. We were. Uh, we we had, had done the wine crawl or the the. Oh the yeah, crawl it rained downtown, really and bad. It rained really hard that day, and we were all wet, and we were at the house of hops drinking, having a good time, and Chris and I were talking, and Vicky showed up, um, a friend of ours. We know Vicky from softball, and she. Um, she was just sitting with us, or sitting with me, I think, and talking. And one, at some point, we got, I got, I couldn't drive home, so she drove us all home. She dropped me off, and then. Well, uh, she's. She first asked. She's like, "Oh, do you? Uh, I gotta go drop these uh, numb nuts off. You wanna, you wanna come uh, with me for a ride?" And I'm like, "Sure." She had candy and puppies, so I decided to jump in. Well, and and let's be honest. I mean, Chris, Chris is adventurous, and he does love candy and puppies. He mm-hmm. does love. <laughs> so <laughs> was it a van with no windows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. A white Coincidentally, one. it's with, it's the family car today. But go ahead. Yeah. Um. I uh, know. So. Uh, Basically decided to jump in, and uh, as we, I had to say it, as we were driving up the hill, got a little scared because you know um, the driving wasn't the best. So as soon as we got to your house, because didn't we have Adam with us? Or yes, was it, or, or was we it? did. We yeah. dropped Adam off first, then dropped me off, and then yeah. Or did you drop Adam off after me? I can't remember. I, I, I can't remember. Yeah, off, it's, right? it's 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 yeah. Adam's also one of our loyal followers. Thanks for listening, Adam. Adam, thanks for shout out to Adam Martinez being, being dropped off in, in the Vegas. story. He's Las Vegas baby. Yeah, Represent. now he is relocated. Uh, yeah, and then ever since, because actually, didn't you give her my cell phone number? Mm-hmm. I did, yeah. but I didn't realize that I was, I didn't realize at the time what I was doing was going to be 
now uh, what two years uh, relationship starter june 14th coming up on that yeah, yeah. so wow. two years I, I had no idea at the time so you're just doing it to help out vicky or help out bennett i mean who are you wingmanning for when you did that no i don't think i was wingmanning anyone i just no i know I I, i've met drunk jason i know yeah yeah i've met drunk you were wingmanning for somebody here here do you want bennett's number here here take it take it I I, hey it's so hot i was helping vicky i was helping vicky because at the time she had just gotten out of a, a long well, a longer relationship, but it didn't end well. Yeah. No, it uh, was. She, yeah. she was kind of, and it, it, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say she was just getting out of it. She had been out of it for a few months, but it was someone she was serious about, and it just didn't. So she was trying to get back in the game. Um, no, see, here's the thing about women, though. They don't get back in the game like we get back in the game. Yeah, that's we true. We get back in that's the true. game like, I'm broke up, okay, I'm in the game. Women have no, to have the morning that's, that's, period. They have to have the little time to kind of get in touch with themselves and find out what happened, what did wrong. They had to dissect the relationship. And, and I disagree with that statement that men just jump back into the game. I don't think that's true at all. I think as you get older, you stop and figure out what you did wrong, too, before you Yeah, because, I mean, uh, the game. if you were to go for, like, you look at a high schooler or, like, a freshman in college, of course, they're going to be like, oh, right, back in the game. All right, who? Now, yeah, yeah like, as Scott's you get right. Older, you, got mo- you have more emotions so to deal with. So if I understand with. correctly, the older you get, the longer it takes to get back in the game. Uh, yeah. So somehow she got back in the game. But I don't even, th- you know, how many times, though, do, in a relationship does it start when you're not expecting it to start? You're not looking for it. You're not, like, actively looking for it. Well, don't they it. always say those are the best relationships to have, the ones you're not looking for? And that was exactly what happened to, uh, happened to me because I was actually, um, where were we? I, we had to, I actually think we, were, we started off at the brewery. Then we moved down. The yeah, because it was it was a kind of the the little bar. Yeah, it was it was deal. the uh, it was the lobster yep. dinner. Yeah. lobster. because I was there party. with the residents for their, their graduation. There we go. And uh, I was out back, and you guys were out front. That's right. And uh, uh, you gave Vicky my number. Yes. And then she texts me, uh, "Hey, get me a drink." Well, in a politer way. Well, now that is how you hit on somebody right there. Hey, you over there, <laughs> give me a drink. You know what it probably was. I find you somewhat attractive, but uh, one more drink will find you very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I end up? So give me the strongest <laughs> beer on tap. And that's kind of what I did was uh, some of the uh, some of the friends of the residents. They had uh, their parents brought a big old basket of uh, assortment of wine and champagne, you know, because they're celebrating. So what I ended up doing because I've I've been drinking that night too. Uh, is <laughs> I took all the wine. I was like, all right, got a grab, got me a cup. I'm gonna do a little little this, pour a little that into it you know so and you I, were mixing wine that night too i came uh, i came up front and i'm like here you go vicky here's some jesus juice oh and it, it came to jesus but anyway she dropped us off home and the rest of this as the they rest say as history. they say is history yep. so you guys are going two years strong now two years uh, what do you what do you see as i mean I, I just for the audience out there vicky is not an ugly woman she's an attractive woman very beautiful uh so it's not like uh there's a physical you don't look at her physically and say, "Oh, okay, there's a 16 year age difference." No, she does um, not look. She does not look like she's 29. What do you think? <laughs> she, is looks, she looks. She looks very good. She looks. Well, she works out. And yeah, I mean, absolutely. She, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's she does big, cross it with us. Yeah, I know for myself because I have an age difference in my relationship, and I do feel that it's for some reason women um, do seem to take care of themselves. Uh, as they get older, better than men do. Yeah, and you know, I can, I can speak for this. You know, I, I'm 36, and I, I think I'm starting to finally show my age. If, if I looked at Vicky right now, I would say uh, she's probably five years younger than me because she takes care of herself. Um, she looks just like she's Bennett's age, so that it's a good fit. It's a good fit, and she's you know, you know, she she fits his personality too. Well, mm-hmm. she puts up with the shit, is what I'm trying to say. Well. <laughs> I mean, Chris I got lots of it too. So Chris does have a lot of shit. Um, what do you think is has been the easiest part about being in a relationship with uh, someone who's older than you? Uh, what's the easiest part about it? Uh, I really don't think there is really an age difference because when we first started, well, when we first started going out, it was uh, it was thought about a little bit. Uh, me, uh, probably about yeah, 15 percent. Uh, Vicky, a little bit more. How much more do you think she thought about it? I know Noreen thinks about it. More yeah, than, no, she more than I did. I know. I know. If you have a significant difference in age, that whoever is younger or older, I mean, tends to worry about it a little bit more than the younger people do. Why do you think? Why Why do you think that is? Because I think it is because they're worried that. Well, I feel in, I feel insufficient because I'm older. You know, why would yeah. this young person want to you know hang out with me? No, well, geez, I don't know about that. Oh, wow. Deep. Okay. Wow. So I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chris. 
Uh, I, I forgot where we left off. Just that you said that she thought about it more than you did at oh, the time. Oh, yes, 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 that's correct. Um, actually, we were, um, it got to a point where, you know, like you said, like, uh, I think the women talk, uh, like, think about it a little bit too much. Um, and I just kind of kept telling her, like, hey, if it's, it's, it's you and me against the world, if that's what it's going to be, you know, let's, let's, let's do this, you know. And she just, it, she didn't like it for some odd reason, and she just wasn't comfortable with it. And the funny part is we actually were talking about it and I, I tried to talk her out of it. We we're setting the uh, place in the setting here. We're you know just sitting in the living room talking about this and um, I'm trying to talk her into this like you know this is actually I we are a great match I see us we, we, we make each other laugh. Um, we're a great team you know just and she's like I don't know I don't know I don't know. And she talks about it to this day is that she actually she got pissed at me because I was like, OK, well, all right, that's the way you see it. All right. I'm out. Peace. And I left. And, and, and that's and that's a very good game. Ga- or they'll leave. Oh, back then. Oh, well, wow. well, not even the heave ho. It's that. Listen, this is what I think. This is what I want. If you don't think that this is going to work this way, and, and then fine. I'm not going to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. You know, let's go. Let's get on with our lives. You know, because if I, li- I like you and you like me, but you don't want to do this, then we need to walk away right now. I mean, so I understood what you were doing. Mm-hmm. And cut the bandaid, but, but, but yet again, now that now I'm in the relationship, now she looks back at that and she, she always gets pissed at me because she's like, you left, you just stopped, you got up and you walked out. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> did you want me to Bam. sit there? Yeah. Bam. Yeah, you, Bam, it didn't stick. You're saying, here, right? you're saying two, I'm saying one, and I'm trying to convince you, but you're still saying two. I can't, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, so, and, and but, it, you know, for me, the, the, when you have an age difference like that, uh, you're still two people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're still two yeah. people. It doesn't matter that there's an age difference. There doesn't matter that you know that Noreen is older than me by eight years. Um, at the at at the end of the day, we're two people. We have different ways of looking at life. Do those two ways compatible? Are they compatible with each other? If they are, then the age difference does kind of uh, fade away because you're talking about two people who have goals and dreams and and you know they have fears and they have but, angst. You know, I, I think at that point it doesn't matter what the age difference is if there is if there's even an age difference ever you are two separate people with those different goals dreams and aspirations that you have to find that common ground to work together mm-hmm. you know so at that at that point age doesn't make a difference it's about personalities it's about meshing it's about finding those common goals and common ground that you both want to work toward and, it, and it's fun because when you get the little spark you know and you just get to see where it goes. You're like, oh my goodness, this is this is great. This is this is perfect almost. Yeah. Well, and and I look at it. Um, I think uh, Noreen, uh, when she was in a long term relationship before me, uh, there was a lot of things that that she had interests and passions about that just were not being met. Uh, you know, like traveling or or other things by her uh, main uh, husband. And so no, wait, main husband? Did she have side husband? Side, yeah, oh, side, weird. side she dishes. Married twice, so oh. yeah, she did have side husband. I forgot about that first. Yeah, husband. so right. she got married at eighteen, and then her longtime husband, who she has two kids with. Um, but when she got together with me, and I, I know you've done the same thing. You guys travel a lot. We started traveling, and she loved the fact that I have someone who's adventurous and mm-hmm. who wants to travel and who wants to experience life the way that I want to experience it. Mm-hmm. Age difference doesn't matter at that point. You're talking. Nope. About about people and their well, interests. It's in common interest to common yeah. ground. So after a certain point, age goes out the door. Yeah. I mean, you have you because obviously you ignore the fact your age difference now. No, I mean, it, it's 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 a non-factor. Two years into it, it is a non-factor. It took. It probably took um, for me. It took a month just to be like, this is you know what I forget it. Uh, probably Vicky like a little bit longer, but other than that, I do not even think about it for a second now. It's it's more of just hey hun, how's your day going? How can I make you happy? How can I make you know this relationship even working better? Well, you know what what can we do? And and, and uh, when you don't think about it, if it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, you just you basically you focus on the relationship. Now, do you take any public heat for the age difference? Is it like a like a faux pas out in the community or the public, or do you guys just ignore that when it happens? Tell the truth. Either either I'm, uh, I'm death, or I really don't hear anything. Okay. That, that makes sense. I mean, that, that's a, that's a true testament to you know how how much you don't think about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how much of a, of a difference it doesn't make to you, which is great. I mean, that that's a solid sign of the relationship. And I know that you you're the same boat as, as Ben. I'm coming up on seven years. Um, I know that one of the things that I was was interested in this podcast was to talk about um, what are some of the concerns that an age difference does cause. Because I know for me, uh, one of the things that I'm I'm constantly aware of, at least from my perspective, is um, you know she has eight more years of um, 
retirement savings put together and she has eight more she's eight years closer to retiring than me so when we do hit that retirement when she hits her retirement age she's going to be able to stop working and i'm going to probably have to still work and there's going to be eight years where there's going to you know there's going to be a time where she's going to be able to do things and live a life that i won't be able to do it with her no, um and that bothers me a little bit i think about it not that not that it's a deal breaker but it's definitely something that that I think about. Um, do you have anything that you think about with your age difference that you know right now is not a key factor, but might be a factor in the future, Chris? Uh, I really don't think so because Vicky's one of those t- types that uh, uh, she's got to be got to be doing something, and, and it either it'd be working or traveling, which is you know kind of the uh, the worst part about it. But um, when it comes to traveling, I mean, we, we always make time for, uh, I always fit, squeeze that in somehow, even if I have to work extra hours or something like that. But even, I mean, like, um, we actually, she actually has an itch, uh, to go travel and we're actually going out to San Diego this Thursday. So, okay. So I, I th- th- to answer your question, um, I really don't see anything. So uh, maybe that's, maybe that's a bugaboo on my part that I have to get over is why worry about things that are in the future you know, don't no. think about them well, when I, it comes to that. I mean, if you consume yourself with, oh, well, she's going to be older than me, so she'll be able to retire earlier or she'll be able to do, you know, other things earlier than me. Uh, I could go get in the minutia so deep that it's, you know, you know and, and like, what you, you, you got to stop thinking about it this way is like, you know, I shouldn't eat that apple because eventually it will become a core. You know, why I shouldn't, you know, go out because. Whoa. That, that's, that's pretty deep. That's deep, that's right deep there. Bennett. Well, deep. yeah, okay, but you're saying like, oh, well, eight years down the road, it's it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard, and it's like, well, no. Well, you, when you get there, you'll yeah, deal but, with yeah, it. That's and you'll eight years down the road. Yeah. You know, and, and also with the age, you, I think women tend to be a little more analytical when it comes to relationships, guys. And I know you, you guys can say you, maybe I'm way off base with this, but we don't think about things as much. If we're happy and they're happy, we don't worry about too many other things. We're having a good time and everyone's taken care of. We're okay. We don't want to think, you know, 10 years down the road. We're not thinking about that stuff. We're thinking about just being in the moment. And, you know, on top of that, they, they say women tend to be five years more mentally mature than men. So a woman at 30 has the maturity of a 35-year-old where a man at 30 has the maturity of hopefully a 30-year-old. Uh, in some cases, a 12-year-old, you know. It depends how fast they grow up. That's true. I mean, I, I guess that's true. I also think about the fact that if, if, if men become in their sexual peak in their mid-20s and women get in their sexual peak in their mid-30s to late 30s, then I could see why a lot of <laughs> relationships might go the other way where, you know, the woman is older than the man just because sexually they're both they at their peak. They keep up. They can keep up. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, plus, and I don't know about you, Chris, but... I've dated girls who were in their 20s. They don't know what they want. They still don't have that maturity to me yeah. to know who they are, what they stand for, what they're confident about. Once they get into their 30s and start to get into their 40s, to me, what it, like what I've always found attractive about Noreen is that um, I don't know if I would have liked the 20-year-old Noreen or the 25-year-old Noreen. Yeah, true. Uh, I love the Noreen in her age right now. She's confident. She's mature. She's... Um, sure of herself. She knows what she wants in life. She's and to me, that just that's as sexy as anything. I'm I'm sorry. That is just like the sexiest thing when you see a woman who knows who she is, what she wants, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, versus you know some of these younger girls. They still deal with the stupid crap that drives mm-hmm. men nuts. They just did a study recently. Did you see that study that they said that 68 percent of guys want a girl who's nice. That looks, that's okay, looks is great too, but, but they just want nice. someone who's a nice person. They would rather have that over sexy hot. So, well, Megan Fox, you're out. Yeah. Well, looks <laughs> fade though, and it's true. Looks do fade, you know, unless you have the money for plastic surgery. Looks fade. So, you have to have something else to offer at a certain point. I mean, we all have to have certain, we're, we're decent looking guys, but we have to have other options. No, to no, no. Have. Bennett's very decent looking. How very, are you doing? In fact, yeah, I wish the podcast could be seen because you can see why Vicky fell for him. He's good looking, strapping guy, big beard. Mm-hmm. Like he did, she fell for him before the beard. Thor, but better looking. I, oh yeah, without the wavy, I was like, they, they say hair. I was McDreamy and then I grew a beard. Oh. <laughs> he was McDreamy and then grew a beard. <laughs> now I'm just bleh. Yeah. 
Now he's just McViking dreaming. What yeah. do you guys think the average age difference in American relationships is? Three years. I'm going to go with six or seven. Uh, 2.3 years is the average age difference. Uh, how many percent do you th- uh, How many percent of the relationships is the woman older than the man? 35 percent. Mm, 42. 23%. Wow, we are just like over 23%. Wow. Yeah. So 23% of women are older than men. Uh-huh. Uh, how much do you think it plays a part too that women don't, a lot of women have careers now where they don't need a man who's going to take care of them. And so it gives them the flexibility to get with a younger guy. Well, I think that's just the maturity of a woman though too. And it's like it goes back to the confidence where they don't have to feel like they need to be taken care of. Some want to be taken care of, and that's great. And, you know, I've met women like that where they just want to be the housewife. They just want to be the one that, that the trophy the, wife, the trophy wife. And there is a zero appeal to that. I have to admit, I, I've never been attracted to, like, I always love these women. Well, I stay home, but I take care of everything. I'm like, okay. Okay, well, that, that's, that's cool. good. And, and, and I, while I appreciate that, I wouldn't want someone who says, I don't want to do anything. I just want to take care of you. That's not my bag. No, I yeah. don't need to be taken care of like that. You know, I know for me personally, I need someone who's independent and can stand on their own because I've, I've had to stand on my own for most of my adult life. So yeah. I don't want to have to worry about someone else. I want them to be able to, be able to take care of themselves and me take care of myself. And then we can take care of each other but we're both independent, if that makes sense. And, and I have a feeling that if I were to have a, a, a deal-breaking relationship ending with Noreen, it is definitely not going to be because of the age difference. Yeah. No. For me, I mean, th- that, that won't be it. Now, that being said, we're past children, so we, we're not having children, so I don't want to have any more children. She can't have any more children, so we're past that part of it. Um, so for me, th- that part of the age difference is not – uh, an issue um, for some couples there are I mean there are I mean I think about a man or a woman who's in their 40s being with someone a lot younger maybe they don't want to have kids but the younger person does do you ever run into that Chris uh, like in our relationship yeah, yeah. no I mean, do, you, do you ever run into oh, I really want to have kids so, and I know Vicky doesn't want to have kids well the thing is you can't have kids anymore uh, we're, we're yeah, past we're that too same. yeah we're, yeah no, we're, yeah, we're yeah, no I'm, I'm, we I'm completely fine not having kids at all um, but I, you know, there is a there is a, a couple that we do know of that is um, actually a, a bigger age difference than us, uh, where it's kind of the role reversal. The guy is a little bit older, uh, twenty some odd years, and uh, actually uh, they 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 started it. So I mean, it's so he's on like his second batch of kids, like his second family almost. I don't know. If we're thinking about the same people. I yeah. mean, but to me, I, my friend, my friend, Pete Ellis, I love you, brother. Uh, my friend had uh, his third child at 42, and she's uh, Molly. She's a beautiful little girl. She's she's two or three now. But I'm thinking, um, I just don't want to have – I wouldn't want to have – if I was 42 and I already had a family, I would – that would be kind of something that I would be hesitant about being with a younger girl in 20 – or whatever because of the fact that she's going to want to have kids i don't want to have kids and i I never run into that too in in my in my situations you know in dating at my age i'm and i'm maybe i'm just pragmatic about it i'm 36 i don't have any kids i don't really feel the need to have kids just like chris it doesn't make it doesn't make or break me and if i started having kids now if i did the simple math Let's say I'd be 37, 38 by the time it started to happen. I'm in my late 50s by the time they're 20 years old, man. I don't want to be that old dad. And I have all the respect to the world for the guys that do that. But I've become accustomed to a certain lifestyle. You can call it selfish all you want. People say having kids is the greatest accomplishment you can ever do. And I, and I cannot agree more. But maybe it's just not for me. So I, it doesn't make a difference to me uh, about not having kids. And, and that scares uh, some people off from, from dating uh, on the younger side for me. They, I just, um, the room was telling me a story of a woman that she used to work with who married um, when she was 21. She got together and married a guy who was like a firefighter in his 40s, strapping young man. Um, the relationship was going great until he got into his late 60s and has had some health issues. And the health issues were too much for her to handle. And she left. She left the guy. Yeah. So, that wasn't, thinking, wow. so was that not true love then, I guess? Well, that's, that's after but, almost 20 years, but though, too. But here's the thing, and this is the thing about age differences that I definitely wanted to make sure we talked about, is where we are today and where we're going to be five years from now and ten from years from now, if you don't have the right person to be able to grow and, and you know make accommodations to grow into that, you're, 
an age difference of more than 10 years probably won't work because now you're dealing with generational differences. Oh, yeah. You know, you're dealing with a generational difference that as you get older, if you can't grow with that person and say, okay, well, we're getting older, so we have health issues, we handle it together and move forward, or, you know, you want kids, I don't want kids, we, or, you know, we adopt or whatever. Um, p- two people still have to work together. Just like we mm-hmm. were talking about earlier, you, you're, you're still two people. You still have to work together. I've seen people who are the same age, and they can't work together. So yeah, if, you're, c- if you can work together through those issues, it's probably not a big deal. That goes back to personalities and the, and the willingness to work with your partner. Once you get into that relationship, it like like you said earlier, it's you two against the world. Yep. You have to go in with that mentality. It's not like, well, I'm going to do this until it's fun or it's not fun anymore. Uh, then we'll go about our, our separate ways. No, it's it's backdraft. I go, you go, and, and that's how you work things out. You don't just leave someone on an island. You you figure mm-hmm. it out together. Yep. I got your back. You got mine. You know, and, and it's no questions asked at that point too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes there are struggles with that too because I know that like. You know, one of the things that I love about Noreen is that she is very in tune and sensitive about things, and she's very articulate about how she says them. She's sometimes sensitive about things that I'm not sensitive about. So when she gets upset about something, I have to remember I don't get upset about it, but that doesn't diminish the importance of what she's telling me. So working together and trying to find a common ground between those things. Um, and like you guys, I mean, I, I feel very confident that. There's nothing, I don't look at the age difference anymore, and I certainly don't look at that that being anything that we can't overcome. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Now, that being said, uh, it, it, it would be difficult for me to see myself with someone who is 20 years younger than me. I mean, for me, because I just don't, th- I, <laughs> my thing is, why? At a certain point, you feel like those, uh, you know, uh, that's almost like a you know, maybe the problem, thing. But like well, she wants to be taken care of. And then no, uh, I had a daughter at twenty. So thinking about any girl that's twenty years younger than me, okay, you are old enough to be my daughter because I have a twenty-year-old daughter, or I have a daughter that's twenty years younger than me. Miranda, that's a shout out to you. Love you. You're beautiful. Congratulations, you just graduated college. I love you. Sorry, promo. Sorry. Yeah. promo. Cheap plug. Um, yep, yeah, there so it like, is. You know what I mean? Like, wait, so wait, when wait. I look at someone who is like, let's say. Even though I see a girl, she's a really attractive girl, and she's 21, 22, I have a mental block. Like you said, the apple and the cord story that you gave. Yeah. I have a mental block saying, that's my daughter. Nope, can't look at her so, anymore. You know, I'm like, ugh. Well, the, the, the way I look at it, too, now, is like, you look at the, I, all these uh, like millennials out there, you know, they always think that they're entitled to everything, and they are going to be like, oh, well, I want this, this, and that. And you want to be like, you know what? I grew, I grew up working my ass off, you know, and... You are out there thinking like the world should just come to you and like pamper your ass. No, no, thank you. And, and in fairness, though, there are millennials out there that do work their ass off to get what they want, and those are the driven ones that you have to give respect to. But at the same point, you know the age difference. They say that they're, and and I heard this somewhere, and it really rang true with me about when you're dating someone younger or your age range of dating. They say you should take half your age and add seven, and whatever that number is, you sh- that should be like the le- bottom number of age you should date. Half age plus seven. So, I mean, so I'd, be like, I'd be like 24, 25. 22. I'd be 25. So, a 29. I could go for a 29. I could go for a 29 year old. So, so like Vicky it. is like right, like right at her edge with you. Yeah. She's yeah, right, right at her. There. So, she's in, she's, she, you're in her wheelhouse. The but math adds but up for you. But a year you know, off or a but year. But I, I will say this because uh, my mother, when she was 45, was, in my opinion, a lot older than I am at 45. So yeah. we have to take that into consideration, too, that the 45-year-old women of today are not like the 45 women of 20, 30 years well, ago. Well, that's the question, though. Are they or aren't they? Because I don't mm-hmm. still... I have a hard time viewing myself as an adult. I remember when my parents were 36, I thought they were way more adulty than I am now, but I'm not that far off from having the things that they had and doing the things they've done. Mm-hmm. I, I guess it's all just a state of mind. Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's what relationships are. It's about the state of the mind you have, you know, within yourself and with each other. Well, how about this? Uh, we're we're getting close on time. Uh, I, I I pulled up a website and there are five considerations for a relationship that we'll okay. we'll go over real quick. Uh, first is know when a difference is too large. Um, to me, twenty six years for that French president seems too large. And yet, as we just got told earlier, if I'm eighteen and someone is uh, forty four versus 40 and 66 as we get older the age difference of mm-hmm. you know being large doesn't seem as bad 
you know, like dating someone. If I'm 20 and they're one, that's a bad. That's, <laughs> that's bad, creepy. Right? That's, that's yeah. That's down that's like to really bad. <laughs> but when I'm 45 and they're 23 or 24, maybe no one cares. No one even looks at him. Mm -hmm. So knowing when the d difference is too large, we talked a little bit about that just because of the you know having kids or mm -hmm. someone getting older or whatever. Um, understand your reasons for being in a relationship. You said it best, Chris. I mean, if you're in a relationship with someone, you're in it for the right reasons because of the person they are and that we together are better than us apart. Yep. Which is you know critically important. So um, I think that you know for people who are looking at a, a relationship with someone who's a difference in age understand the reasons why you're there i mean if you're there because they have a lot of money yeah okay, you're totally be, well, be, be there <laughs> no be i don't th i don't it. think there's the right reasons but you know just just get eventually uh you know they're gonna probably jump bail ship here soon yeah you know when the next best thing with a better net worth comes along you're out mm -hmm. it's, it's not personal it's just business uh be prepared to handle the generational differences uh, because you know obviously uh you know gen generations generational differences it's a factor man are going to be a flow a ebb and flow because mm -hmm. in five years you're going to be in your early 30s what you want if your early 30s is going to be different than what you want today just like five years from now vicky's differences so understand what those generational differences well, if you just, are if you just think back to what you them. thought about at 40 versus what you thought about it, think about it at 45 yeah. it's completely different yeah you know, I had the same thing at 30 I, versus now. What are my wants and my needs are, are similar, but they're a, there's a big enough difference yeah. to where you, you take notice. Um, you said something, Chris, that is the fourth option or fourth consideration. Um, you don't hear any noise about your relationship. No, nope, you don't hear any noise where someone says, oh, my gosh, there's there's an age difference there. Maybe it helps because Vicky doesn't look her age. You know what I mean? Like if most people look at Vicky, I don't think they would can think, oh, my gosh, Vicky is is old. Yeah, like she's very young looking. Oh yeah. Um, I think Noreen is very young look. She does not look her age. Like I've met women who are younger than Noreen and look older than Noreen. Yeah. Um, now it doesn't help that I have a baby face. So yeah. that you know that's another thing too. Physical appearance. Yeah. I I have a baby face. So if let's say it's a four year difference, but I look fifteen years younger than that. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's an age difference. That's too, why that's why Bennett has the beard. It kind of bridges that gap. But one of the uh, so one of the, the next consideration was how to handle criticism. Know how to handle con the criticism. Oh, if I, you th ever I thought you said how to handle Chris's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh well, uh, you got one in the room right that's, here. That's only, that's only for Vicky to answer. How yeah, to Chris's. Yeah. Um, I think you, like you said best. You just you, you block it and you tend to ignore it because it's not their business. You know. Yeah, I I'd, I'd say you you know um, it isn't their world. It isn't uh, you know because. I always t I always tell uh, Vic if uh, there's something that I isn't heard right or something like, "Hey, babe, it's your world. I'm just dancing in it, you know." Because these people, it's you and me. It's funny he says the same thing to me every time we get into an argument too. Well, I, I think that that's probably maybe the maybe the final minute we can just talk about that. It's you know, you and I are the only ones that are important. Mm -hmm. if, if we're in a relationship with someone, you and I are the only ones important. And if you're okay with me and I'm okay with you, then who cares? Um, then it really doesn't matter. That being said, you're still two people. Yeah. And I don't care if whatever the age difference is, if you're two people that love each other and are willing to, to handle anything, it's us against the world, then the age really doesn't matter. And see, and then, and then, and then you just said the, uh, the, the L word right there, uh, the love. You know, the way I look at it now is like love is, it's not an emotion. It's, it's, it's like a promise. You know, it's like every day that I wake up, you know, I'm not just going to throw out, hey, I love you. You know, oh, I love you too. No. I mean, I, when I say it, I really mean it. And that, you know, that, that strengthens, you know, relationships, uh, just believing in each other. And not only that, I mean, it, each, each day, every time that I hear her say that, it, it, it builds me up. And every time I, I hope that she hears it too for me. It also builds her up, you know? And that goes back to any relationship that it is. You have to have that common goal and be each other's biggest cheerleader. Mm -hmm. You have to, especially uh, nowadays where people can tear you apart via social media. Uh, people that aren't happy will attack your relationships too just so they can feel better about themselves. So <laughs> Those little shits. Yeah, right? But just being the, your partner's biggest, being Vicky's biggest cheerleader probably does more for Vicky than, she, than, you, than you will ever realize. Mm -hmm. And I think vice versa. Uh, than she could ever realize for what it does for you. And and that's just a big thing. I mean, Noreen goes through it and, and you go through it. It's you have to keep, you know, pushing the other person, you know, and let them know that you love them. And 
and, and Chris said it best. It's not just words; it's an action. Actions. It's it's a it's an action of I love you by my actions, not just I love you, because we all know that those words can be thrown out. Oh, yeah, like yeah. words are um, arbitrary um, actions. But uh, but yeah, see see on Liquid Carnage we talk about love, man. We, we get love. deep, man. We, we get love. Deep. Mm-hmm. Um, follow us on Twitter at Liquid Carnage at Liquid Carnage. Uh, uh, we're also on Instagram, Liquid Carnage, and you can find us on Facebook. Uh, oh, liquid that's carnage. right. So we are we're running, everywhere. Yeah, you're, 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 you're getting the social media, media world. Um, I want to thank Chris. Th- Chris, thank you very much. Um, your input today was kind of a unique perspective because um, you have a great relationship with Vicky. Vicky is an amazing She's uh, very person. Cool. Very tolerant um, woman too for dating and, for two years. Uh, so uh, and probably a good balance to your just like Noreen is a good balance to. Yeah, her. yeah, um, she is. So. Um, so you're welcome on the show anytime. Anything you ever want to talk yeah, about? Yeah, we'll talk about other things like Michigan. We can talk about Michigan. Oh, Maybe we can you, get you, you, you and the intern, you and the intern get into can Michigan come on versus the show Ohio. And just do a, a, a talk about Jason Michigan and I can just Ohio. sit back and have a beer and watch you two argue in the microphone for an hour. Oh, geez. Uh, but, uh, that'll be a very poorly received podcast. You know, if you have any input on this, uh, Put something on Twitter. Yeah, tweet us. Tweet us, put at, us on at Twitter. Liquid Carnage. Liquid Carnage. We'd love to, you know, hashtag uh, age difference, hashtag relationships. Put it on Facebook, too. Uh, send us a funny meme about relationship uh, age differences on Instagram. You know, <laughs> tag us on anything. We, hey, we, take a picture of love, too. If you guys are have a good relationship, take a picture. Put it on Instagram. Aww. We'd love to see it. We'd love, <laughs> to, We'd see love it. to see We'd it. We'd love your love. to see it. Hashtag love, hashtag liquid, liquid Carnage. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks. See you guys next time. Uh, Take it easy. Scott and Jason and Chris. And as always, if you don't really know what to say, just have yourself some liquid carnage.